Big Bend National Park is one of the largest, least visited, and most remote national parks in the lower 48. It encompasses the entire Chisos Mountain Range, 118 miles of the Rio Grande River border with Mexico, and the largest protected area of Chihuahuan Desert in the U.S. Our last trip to Big Bend, we only spent one night before moving on to Big Bend Ranch State Park. We decided to dedicate this trip entirely to the national park and explore a lot of the things we missed the first time around. It's dusty? Yeah. Yeah, it's always dusty in the desert, right? Can you tell everybody what the big box is for? So that bears don't um, get into your stuff. One, two, three. We rolled into our first night's campsite at Telephone Canyon, just in time to catch the sunset. We recently swapped out our tried and trusted 230 soft shell tent for an iCamper SkyCamp 2.0 to hasten our setup and teardown time, as we seldom stay in any location more than one night. We quickly deployed the iCamper facing directly into a northern front due later that night and forgot to hook the two small loops on either side of the rain fly to the hooks on the bottom. This allowed more time for drinking whiskey. Last night we all sat out around and chit chatted and it was really still and it started to get a little bit chilly and a little bit later and so we all went up into the tents. Well, just fell asleep, I don't know, 10.30, something like that. And about one o'clock in the morning the wind just picked up crazy. I don't know if it was a front came through or just these random winds you get here in Big Bend, but it was blowing pretty hard. and. It's actually lifting the folding section of the tent and the ladder off the ground and shaking around pretty good. It was insane and we thought well we'll wait it out a little bit and then uh, there was no waiting it out. We had to bail out of the tent and sleep the rest of the night in the car. Slept, I use in quotation. I did. Well, Emma slept in the car. That was the first time we've ever had a bail out of the tent, sleep in the car. I guess bound to happen. Yeah. But, um, not the tent's fault. I think it would have been fine if we had just been turned the other way with the hard shell side of the tent into the wind. Anyway, so we're headed down the rest of Old Door Road. I think we're going to try and do a little hike. So. We will see you later. We'll see how we're doing at the end of the day. I feel okay right now. I don't know that that's gonna last.
After our hike to Ernst Denaha and completing Old Ore Road, we headed east to Bokias Canyon. There is an official port of entry where you can cross the border to a village called Bokias del Carmen on the Mexican side of the river for lunch or shopping. If you don't want to cross, there is an overlook further down the road where you'll find handmade trinkets from the village for sale. Each batch of goods is labeled with prices and you leave money in a can or a jar. It was obvious that the border crossings from the other side were pretty relaxed. At the end of the road is a short hike down into Boquillas Canyon. So we made it to Pine Canyon 3. Four. We're going to camp here. 4. four. Pine Canyon 4. We made it to. We made it to Pine Canyon 4. We're going to camp here tonight. Uh, we had 4 and 5 reserved and there was a mysterious car and a tent and a couple of blowed over chairs at Pine Canyon 5. What do you think happened? I think that it's going to become a podcast. Did they get mauled by a bear? Or... I think that... Fall off of one of these mountains? I think there's some true crime happening. And... There's some shady stuff going on. So we don't know if they went for a hike and didn't come back, or they're driving around in another car. We did check the car and the tent for dead bodies, and there weren't any. We found none. So, so we're all here. And it's supposed to get really cold tonight, like 20 degrees tonight, I think. So, we will see how that goes. We're probably going to cook some of our simple hamburger helper for dinner. And when it gets dark and cold, we're going to be up in the tent. Warm up. Oh. Put them in your pocket so where it's not cold and then it'll feel better. So I'm going to be squishing around. Like in Montgomery, I know it's not very good. So it's 66, has a small, like, let me cut off the top. Oh, you're spilling it. We just had a 20 degree, 3 a.m. bathroom break. Was that fun? I was pretty, sh I was prepared this time. I knew, I knew it would be the coldest night. Do you feel better? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. The next morning, the others decided to go explore Black Gap Road. We had another night reserved in Pine Canyon and planned on doing Black Gap on the way out. We decided to relax and enjoy Pine Canyon and forgo breaking and resetting up camp for one night. 
We later realized we had a bad cable between our microphone and camera, so we'll just leave you with some visuals and music. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like. And also comment below when you're done with that. You might win something. <laughs> That's a good and one. also, any questions would be great. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. <laughs> hey. Hi. What are you gonna do? Hike. Hike in your pajamas? Yeah. Pajama hike. <laughs> After we returned from our hike, the rest of our crew showed back up. We cooked some goulash for dinner and hung out until dark. The next morning we packed up and headed south to Glen Spring in the start of Black Gap Road. We plan to take Black Gap south to River Road West and visit Santa Elena Canyon before circling back north to Grapevine Hills for our last night.
think that's just poor planning on your part. Yeah. Nothing says overlanding like running out of gas on a paved road. <laughs> So we are checking out the Santa Elena Canyon Trail. Looks pretty, uh, pretty busy trail. A lot of tourists like us. Is this an illegal border crossing? Oh, to me. Okay, <laughs> we're not gonna go all the way, but. three bars of 3G here somehow and we think that it's only gonna get down to 50 degrees which is gonna be awesome compared to 20 <laughs> so we're sitting here enjoying this nice sunset having a little whiskey and the moonrise and we're gonna make some mountain house can you tell everybody what's going on over here It's a well? Yeah. That's well, crazy. Let me get a bigger one. You know if every kid put a rock in there, then eventually it would be all full of rocks. We got the chicken and dumplings, which is a favorite, and chicken fried rice. Say good night, everybody. Good night, YouTube. It might be the morning for you, but good night, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>